Hello guys, welcome back to another One Punch Man Pokemon Disaster Level thingy. So let us do this right now. Okay, so Turtwig, this is obviously Wolf Grottle. It's just a bigger Turtwig and it's really slow. Torterra is a demon. Edging on Dragon, just because of how big it is. Well, in the Detective Pikachu movie anyway. But this thing can still fire off solar beams and pretty big razor leaves. Because this is a big boy, so it fires a big attacks. Chimchar, I think Monferno is Tiger, just because of how fast it is. And because it has fire. And Chimchar isn't nearly as fast. Infernape is a, de it is a demon, because it's fast, it can punch. It, it's like, it's also got cool fire moves, it can flare blitz, it can fire punch. It can even do acrobatics, which is a flying type cover coverage move. Because I'd imagine if a lot of the One Punch Man heroes were Pokemon, they would be fighting types. And Infernape will be able to counter against them. So yeah, Piplup, just a penguin. Prunplup, just a slightly stronger penguin. Napoleon, I think, would be a demon. I think most first stage starters, I'd say, are demons. Maybe a few are dragons. Maybe even one or two tigers but still i think capoleum with, with its hydro pumps and with its fairly unique typing being a steel type i think it can handle well on its own as a demon uh these are just birds can't really do anything star raptor would be a tiger because it's a bird that knows close combat and it's a bird that can fight so yeah bidoof bebo nail as much as i love quick tune for like the pope for like the cry and the memes Pretty trash. These are just dogs that can shoot electricity. Luxray, it would be a demon if it wasn't so friggin' slow. This is a 70 speed and it's supposed to be like a cat. Like a, not just a cat, a thunder type cat. An electric type. Electric types are supposed to be fast attackers and they ain't even got good defense. So much for being an electric type if it doesn't even have any speed. So yeah, that thing's gone in the trash. Okay, Tiger. Azalea can be formidable. It's got poison, pollen, and no status moves. It has a really good defensive typing, but would get shredded by fire, which is why it's not in Demon. Uh, Ram Rampardos, it's a big old dinosaur that is essentially a glass cannon. Just because of how ridiculous this thing's attack is, I'll put it in Demon, even though it has awful defense. But if this thing had slightly better defense, it could even be in Dragon. So yeah. Bastiodon, it's not as nearly as good as Rumparados. So I think I'll just put it in Tiger. It's a defensive wall, but it can't do anything back. This is just Burmy without a cloak, which I don't even think exists in the in the actual games. So I'll just put it in here. All the Burmies, all the Warmadams, they are all crap. Even though they're literally this one that that's in a trash cloak. Yes, a trash cloak, which I believe is this one. Uh, so yeah, also moth him. It's just a moth. Combi and Vespaquin. They're just bees. Okay, Vespaquin I think will be in Tiger just because of the whole like colony thing and like the heal orders, the attack orders, defense for defense orders. This thing is another glass cannon, and it can be a wall if you have the right typers up against it. It's decently defensive, but it will get shredded by rock, and it has a really unique move set, which is why I put up there. Driftlim will be a Tiger. Pachirisu will be a wolf because it is quite crap and uh, yeah and for drift them it, it's a ghost and it can fly what more do i need to say uh weasel these are just weasels that shoot water okay floats will be a barely a tiger that's because of the whole hydro pump and shit these cherries whatever you want to call them show us really need to explain how crap these things are okay both grass are done so basically the same but with different colors will be in tiger amber palm I think will be in Tiger. It's kind of like the monkey D. Luffy of Pokemon. It's a monkey and it's got long stretchy hands that it can punch things with. Drifloon. It's not nearly as strong as Drifloon. It's the pre-evolution. Lopunny. Base Lopunny will be in Tiger. Mega Lopunny will be in Demon. Because it can punch. It's fast. And it's faster than Base Lopunny. Uh, Miss Magius will be in Tiger. Honch Crow will be in Tiger. These are like new buffed up versions of Gen 2 Pokemon being Murkrow and Mistrevis who were pretty crap but now they're decent I guess so yeah Perugly I don't see Perugly yeah 
For Rugby, it's just a fat house cat. I don't see it being even close to getting in Tiger. Uh, Skuntank somehow knows Flame Throw as the coverage moves, which means it can deal with Steel types pretty well. And it's got Poison moves and also has a Dark type for some reason. It's like a Dark Poison Skunk. So yeah, skunks are annoying, which is why I'll put it in there, because they stink as shit. And their smell won't go away for like a day. So yeah, that could be annoying in the battle. Bronzong? Bronzong is a weird one. I think Bronzong could be in Demon, just because it's whole Trick Room shenanigans. Uh, and the whole psychic defensive wall. It's got the good, good, good offense, good defense. And it is, uh, you know, has a great defensive typing. Still psychic. Love to see it. Just like Metagross. Uh, Bonsai. These things, these things, these babies. Spiritune, I think, is a demon. Just for how hyped up it is to be, and there's only like a few Spiritunes in the world. It's, it's kind of like a legendary that's not a legendary, but it doesn't have the stats. Gibble, Kibble, you know, Kibble, uh, Krogan. Uh, Gabite, I think, will be a tiger. Gibble is just kind of like a baby thing that's not actually that class as a baby type. Bubble. Well, baby Pokemon, like these things, like Mime Jr. and Bonsly, it's not actually one of those. It's just a normal Pokemon classification, so we'll just leave it there. Gabite, I think, is the Tiger. It's way stronger, way faster, and decently defensive if you put Evil Light on it. Garchomp is obviously a... Yes, Garchomp is definitely a dragon. It's got Earthquakes. It is a, it is a Torpedo Jet Pokemon. It... Well, in, in the games, it doesn't know any fly moves, but in the anime, it can somehow fly. I guess because it's like a reference to a torpedo jet. And it knows ground type moves and stone edge and stuff like that. So, yeah. Garchomp. Oh, like ground, dragon, solid typing. Got Dragon Pulse, got Earthquake, got Outrage, got Draco Meteor, got all the solid moves. Mega Garchomp, I think. Mega Garchomp's not God. But it is a dragon because of the scythes. Just look at those damn scythes. This thing is just a more spikier, stonier Garchomp, I'd say. With, with like sharper limbs. I mean, just look at the tail. Just look at this thing's appendages, my god. Uh, Munchlax. Just a weaker Snorlax. That can get taken down pretty easily. Riolu? I think Riolu. Riolu is like the Moomin Rider of Pokemon. If you see what this thing can do, I think it, it it was in the episode where Ash fights the fighting type gym leader and then it, the real loot evolves during the battle, I'm pretty sure. Drapion is a demon. It's big, it's strong, it's got poisonous attacks and it has toxic spikes. Uh, you know, hazards. Yeah, hazards are pretty good to have in Pokemon. Lucario it is a demon. It Lucario just fits Saitama, but it's not as strong as him. Mega Lucario is definitely a dragon. I mean, come on. It's faster, stronger, or a more buff Lucario. Hippodon. Hippodon is demon just because of the whole sand thing. And how defensively utilized this thing can be. It has great stats and great moves. Earthquake. You can also do it stalling with Yawn. Put your Pokemon to sleep. Scorpy, just a scorpion. Toxicroak is a demon. I'm sorry. This may sound stupid, but Toxicroak is a demon, just because of how fast the damn thing is. And sucker Punch, Poison Jab, Drain Punch, you can even store health using Stab Drain Punch, so yeah. Poison Fighting, definitely probably the best, one of the best attacking, t attacking dual types in the game. But this thing is a one-hit wonder, it'll get shredded by any psychic move, and even probably might barely survive a flying move. So yeah, we'll leave it at that. Carnivine, I think Carnivine's a tiger. It's a pretty big fly trap. Just because it's big, I'll let off the hook and put it in tiger. These fish, they're just fish. I hate fish. Uh, Snova, just a snowman. A bomber snow, a buff snowman. Mega a bomber snow is going to be in demon. Edging on dragon, but just because of how awful its type is and how it has so many weaknesses and how it's all fucking die when you put a match on it you just put like a small fire and this big ass snowman will disintegrate just like that this thing will die to a fucking charmander's ember and they call this one a mega yeah i don't think this one's getting any higher than demon uh weavile i like weavile it's pretty fast Pro like ice dark is probably up there with the best dual type along with poison dark 
So yeah, a very good attacking type, but e Weavile's also a one-hit of Wonder. It will take something out, but then get taken out itself. So yeah, that's why I can't get any higher than Demon. Magnazone is definitely a Demon. Come on. It doesn't have Levitate, which they talked about Mega Magneton, but it should have Levitate, but they just gave it Magneton instead. So yeah, it will get destroyed by ground types. Even in the anime, it can levitate. But there's no the ability to levitate. I don't know how that works, but still, it's got electricity and it's also got flash cannons which you can fire off like mad. So yeah, our boy Magnuson's going there, even though it has no gender, but whatever. Uh, licky, 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 dicky, dicky, ficky, ficky boy is. Nah, he's only going in time, bro. I don't see Licky Licky getting that high up. I really don't. He's too weak. He doesn't have that good moves. He's got good defense, but he's got awful offense. He can't really do much other than lick, you know. Lick, it's in his name. He wants to lick. Pretty sus, but whatever. Right, here is going in Dragon. Rhydon's... This is basically Rhydon's Mega Evolution, even though it's like a separate Pokemon. It's like a new evolution or whatever. Right, here, my guy, is going in Dragon. This is what you call a tanker, even though it has so many weaknesses. It's a, it's a weakness tanker. I mean, this thing can maybe so barely survive the average water and grass move. I'll give it credit for that. And it also gave Rhydon a loop a use since now there's Eevee like Rhydon just because this thing exists. So yeah, it's Stone Edge. Earthquake can take out a few heroes. Probably even more than that can fucking fuck up cities in seconds with Stone Edges, Earthquakes, Earth Powers, Heavy Slams, all that shit. So yeah. It is definitely worthy of being a dragon, but on the lower end of dragon, I'd say. Just how big it is in compared to Rhydon. How much damage it can cause in comparison to Rhydon. Tanger Tangrowth is a demon. I'm sorry, but Tan Tangrowth is definitely a demon. It can just grab you with its fucking tentacle vines and suck you in. Like the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. That's, that, that's what this thing reminds me of. Uh... Magmorta is a demon. It can incinerate shit in seconds. Got that flame for her. Got that flame burst. Got the fire blast. Electri Electrify, I think, is better than Magmorta because it knows fire type moves and the elemental punches, which gives more coverage. And I believe it's slightly faster. And it's also got that thing that there's, there's like te tentacle things that are coming out of its back that make it look like Enaru en from One Piece. Togekiss, Togekiss, Togekiss going in, I don't know what Togekiss is going, but it's definitely going in demon, fairy type, it's flying type, you know, it's got all the stuff, it can brave bird, even though it's not bird, it's this weird flying fairy angel thingy, got dazzling gleam, special attacker, you know, uh, fuck it, it's going in demon. I'm getting really tired going through all these. I can't really think of anything to say. Drifflin will say in Tiger. Yan Mega. Yan Mega and Demon. It's fast. Speedy. Yes, indeed. We'll just leave it in there. Leafeon. Leafeon Tiger. Glaceon Tiger. Elemental, you know. Grass slash ice, whatever you want to call it. Gliss score. Going in Demon, Toxic Orb, Earthquake, Acrobatics, fairly fast, Ash used it in the anime, and it went to good avail, good use, you know, I think he used it in the battle against that legendary trainer guy, Mama Swine, big boy Mama Swine, big boy, is going in Demon, fairly big, also can crash down their mice course, you know, Porygon Z, Demon, Glitchy, Arguably the glitchiest of the Porygon line because it's the final stage, but it's not nearly as defensive as Porygon 2. So yeah, but just it has more attack even demon and I think I think a bit more speed. A bit more speed you know, well, more of this American crap. That we saw from last video evolving our boy Mark Zuckerberg. Uh anyway, delayed. Going in demon, fast, edgy, got the blades, can go slash. Kills you. Mega Gallade. My god, I love Mega Gallade. This is Zoro from One Piece's signature Pokemon. If you saw my One Piece Pokemon video. So, yeah. The, the, this guy, Mega Gallade, is going in Dragon, Zoro, but Mega. We've got him here. So, I also know Psychic moves like Psychic Cut, and yeah. 
Probopass. I'm not putting Probopass in Demon. But it will be a mid to high Tiger, I'd say. Pretty bulky, but an awful defensive typing for a defensive mod. Just, just all around fucking awful. And then there's Flash Cannon. I like Flash Cannon. Good on it. For now, Flash Cannon. Dusk Noir. It's a demon. You know what, Hot Take? Dusk Noir's got any dragon. Just because of the whole Vortex shit. Like, this is like the second, like, remade version of a previous Pokemon that's going in dragon. Because this is like a st stronger remake of Dusk Clops. And we're talking about like, how it's in the anime. And more Punch Man is also an anime. Like, comparing it in the games to the Pokemon anime to also the One Punch Man anime. And maybe even the manga for that show. So, yeah. Vortexes. It can suck cities in. Crush shit. Just kill a lot of people. Could be trouble, considering that it's a ghost type. And normal attacks won't be able to hit it. You have to be an elemental if you want to take this thing down. And speaking of elementals, we have an ice elemental Pokemon being Frostlass. That is also a ghost for some reason, because of the purple bits. It's like a ghost in like an ice body. Like, like an ice cloak. This, uh, this Pokemon's ability is literally called Icy Cloak, so it makes sense for it to be a ghost in an ice cloak. Uh, demon. Blizzard, Ghost, all of it at that. Impenetrable to normal moves and fighting ones too. So you'll have to t have an elemental to take down this one. Uh, speaking of elemental, Rotom, Electric. Hmm. This is another one of those element based Pokemon like El Electricity, Ice, Grass, like Earth, Water, I. Yeah, ice, you know, all that shit is one of those. Rotom, base Rotom, we're going to go and Tiger. But here come the big boys. Base Rotom fan can blow shit away. Blowing shit away is not going to do much. Rotom Ice can freeze shit, but it's out of that with range. Rotom Fire can cook shit. Rotom Mo can mow shit. And Rotom Water. Washing machine is the only one that's gonna go in demon just because of Hydro Pump and how good it is in the games and even the anime to a certain extent. These Uxies, they're not going dragon, but they're definitely mid to high demon. These like spirit thingies that are really rare. Wild spawns in Pokemon Go, even the legend these are the only legendaries that spawn wild in Pokemon Go. Dialga, God, Palkia, God. Time and space, two words, that's all that needs to be said. Uh, Heatran. Heatran's not god, but it's definitely mid to high dragon. I think it's lower than Rhyperior, but... but oh, actually, no, I think it will be the weakest dragon. Okay. I think Garchomp is the weakest dragon here. And then it, it will be Heatran, then Gallade, then Rhyperior, then Dusk Noir. Actually, no, we'll... Then, then Mega Lucario, then Garchomp. So yeah, that's how I'll rank the one so far. Regigigas is a dragon. It would be God if it wasn't so friggin' slow. But, but when this thing is moving, it can shred. It is a way more buffed up slacking because it's a legendary and slacking isn't. Basically, that's the same ability, but they have different names. <laughs> Giratina, obviously a God. Other Givertina that looks slightly skinnier than normal Thick Boy Givertina, also a god. Because of uh, Ghost shit and also Time and Space, and this was like the signature Pokemon for Platinum. Platinum's a very solid game. Uh, Fion, it's cause, uh, just because these things are legendary, so that automatically makes him at least Demon. That's that Cosmo will call the man, which couldn't do fuck all. Now, uh, what, what do we have next? I nearly put that left Cresselia on Wolf. <coughs> Cresselia isn't God yet. Cresselia is definitely mid to high dragon, I'd say. It's a space demon kind of thing, even though it looked kind of elegant. This thing ain't fooling anyone. It's pretty sus. Pretty sussy Cresselia right there. Dust. Dark Rye. Dark Boy. God. Just because of the old God. The old darkness shit. Shaman, bait the shamans will go in demon just because they're legendary, but nothing more. And speaking of God, we have God himself, Arceus, joining the party, and it will be the final Pokemon ranked in the tier list. He also has a game made after it, which recently came out, Pokemon Legend Arceus, which I'll also be making a tier list for. And, and that game is basically Gen 8.5. So yes, Arceus by itself though is obviously God, the strongest Pokemon of all time. 
It is made to be God. This thing is literally described to be the God of Pokemon. So yeah, that's my tier list. Uh, so I put every Pokemon in Gen 4, giving them a disaster level. This is Wolf, Tiger, Demon, Dragon, God. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.